Hey, what's up guys? Foodless is back and today we're making homemade barbecue seasoned potato chips. Sweet, salty, little bit spicy. Stick around, I'll show you how. All right, let's make barbecue potato chips. This is actually about our 16th video featuring potatoes. We've done everything from sweet potato hash to loaded baked potato soup, truffle fries, and even potato pancakes, plus a lot more. So if you'd like, feel free to go back and watch any of those videos. I have two russets here. Russet is my choice of potato for these chips. I'm gonna start by peeling them and slicing them. I'm gonna start with two, but I don't know exactly what kind of yield I'm gonna get out of these, so I might add another potato, but we'll have to wait and see. We have our peeled potatoes, and I cut them in half because they're gonna be a little bit easier to slice. You may call it wimpy, but I always use my guard when I use the mandolin. Get a nice, clean, thin slice on these. I put the potatoes in this large bowl with some cold water that I'm gonna season pretty heavily with some sea salt and some white wine vinegar. We'll let those soak for about a half hour. Hey, if you're new here, feel free to support us, subscribe to the channel, give us a big like. We're committed to putting out weekly kitchen content that you get to watch for free. Now we're gonna make our barbecue seasoning. I'm gonna spin it in this little mini food processor. This will help get all the ingredients mixed really well and I want this mixture to be a little bit fine. About two tablespoons of brown sugar, about two teaspoons of smoked paprika. You've got that sweet and smokiness in there. About a teaspoon of garlic powder, a little bit of cayenne pepper, about a quarter teaspoon, and a pinch of salt. I drained all the water from the potatoes. I have a little kitchen towel here. We want to dry these out the best we can. Now this is my least favorite part of frying potatoes, but if you want really good chips, this is what you have to do. I'm just going to lay these out individually. Now I'll go down with another kitchen towel or paper towels and begin to pat these dry. Now that we have nice dry potatoes, we're going to get them ready to put in our fryer. I'm going to blanch these, which means I'm going to cook them twice. The first cook at a lower temperature will help remove the starches and sugars and get a little pre-cook on those potatoes. And then we'll fry them a second time at 350 and get them nice and crispy. You want to make sure not to overcrowd your pan. Drop them in one at a time and do them in batches. Let's get these chips in the fryer. <laughs> 